Hello everybody, today we're going to be reading The Epic Adventures of Huggy and Stick, author Drew Daywalt and illustrated by David Spencer. The Epic Adventures of Huggy and Stick Huggy and Stick belonged to a little boy named Reese, and like many things that belonged to a little boy, they spent a good part of their time being lugged around in a backpack. That is, until the day an open zipper, a large bump on the sidewalk, and Reese's bicycle combined to create an accident. This is their story. It isn't pretty. Dear Diary, I love Huggy. He's so cool. Today, I fell out of Reese's backpack and Huggy tried to save me, but we both fell out and then the rain washed us out to sea and now we're in this circle-shaped super bouncy boat. Dear Diary, I hate Stick. I really do. I tried to push him out of the backpack today, but his pointy head snagged a loose thread on my paw and we both fell out. Now I'm writing this from a dirty tire floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Dear Diary, best trip ever! Today we were rescued by these nice guys in super awesome hats. I told Huggy they must be some kind of super awesome hat club. They showed us their cool swords and Huggy gave him his button. Then Huggy kind of boffed on one of them with the biggest hat and they had us try out their diving board. Strange though, they sailed away after we dove into the ocean. Oh well, so much fun! Dear Diary, worst trip ever. Today we were captured by pirates, I was robbed of my lucky gold button, I got seasick on their captain, then they made us walk the plank. Now stuffing's coming out of my butt. Wonderful. Dear Diary, today we swam ashore and met a giant mouse with a pocket in her tummy. She gave us a ride, but it was so bumpy that Huggy fell out. I didn't want him to get injured, so I broke his fall. Thank goodness I was there or he could have been hurt. Dear Diary, there's a stick up my butt. I hate my life. Dear Diary, today we rode on a plane. Instead of going home though, we ended up in this magical forest where a giant teddy bear tried to kiss me. I think Huggy likes me more than he admits because he got jealous and pulled me away before the teddy bear could kiss me. Dear Diary, Today a giant panda tried to eat stick. That's what pandas eat. Sticks. Somehow Mr. Wood for Brains thought he could get a kiss. I'm not sure why I saved him, but I did. Unfortunately, the bear didn't appreciate me taking away his lunch. Dear Diary, another great day. This morning we hopped on a train and I made Huggy a new arm. It's even better than his old one if you ask me. When we got off the train, Huggy said he wanted to find his own way home, but he tripped on the train tracks and I grabbed him and saved his life. There was a TV reporter there and now everyone's calling me a hero. Because we are now famous, he got to meet the Queen. Did you know she has a sword too? I definitely need to get a sword. Dear Diary, I don't believe this. I almost get run over by a train and Stick gets knighted by the Queen of England? In what universe is that fair? I'd chop him into little pieces with my new arm, but it only seems to be good for eating hearty soups. Dear Diary, after a boat ride, then a trip across the desert on a camel, we ended up in the jungle. How cool! After running a fun race, we found a giant lake and jumped in to cool off. Huggy began to swim home, but it turned out we didn't have to swim because a huge fish offered us a free ride in his mouth. I love today! Dear Diary, this is getting crazy. Today we ended up in the jungle where a furious charging rhinoceros would have destroyed us both had I not grabbed Stick and jumped into the ocean to get away. The rhino shouldn't feel too badly that we escaped though because after jumping into the water we were promptly eaten by a shark. My only hope is that sharks are allergic to stuffed animals. Dear Diary, holy moly, did you know the sharks are allergic to stuffed animals? And he spit us up. So cool. Still enjoying this trip around the world. We swam to an iceberg. There were these little elves in tuxedos living there. So cute. I wanted to eat them up. Unfortunately, they wanted to eat us too. Dear Diary, dear diary where do I start? The barfing shark? The vicious stuffed animal eating penguins? I taste like socks. How could you not know that? Or the long swim to South America from the freezing Antarctic. 
Ugh, I need a nap. Dear Diary, can you say amazing? Because that's what the rainforest is. All these cool animals and those nice people who turned me into a sippy straw. I even saved Huggy from those mean fish that tried to eat him. Golly gumdrops, Huggy and I make a great team. Dear Diary, can you say horrible? Because that's what the rainforest is. Poisonous frogs, bugs as big as my head, and fish that eat anything, including stuffed bunny legs. Stop trying to eat me, world! Not only that, I had some save stick from some people who hollowed him out to use him as a blowgun to shoot at monkeys and sloths all morning. Weirdest trip ever. Dear Diary, we landed back home today. This has been the best trip ever, and I never would have made it if it weren't for Huggy, my best friend. Dear Diary, Sticks slept through the llama ride, the train ride, two bus rides, the small plane trip, then 200 miles on the back of a very determined chihuahua. If I never go anywhere with that smiling piece of wood again, it will be too soon. The next day. Stick. Uh, no, don't pull that thread. Relax, it's just a loose string. Cool! You've got to be kidding me. And that concludes The Epic Adventures of Huggy and Stick by Drew Daywalt and illustrated by David Spencer. Thank you.